hello guys welcome and it's good evening right now so good evening so today what i'm gonna show you is like in this inventory mobile application i've been getting a comment saying like lots of people want to connect with the firebase database or want to see the firebase database i usually make it public uh, you can write read and write into the database but nobody was able to view it so let's go into the database okay so this is our database aux scan from the firebase authentication is done using the email and password that we registered during the application configuration or the whenever we sign up and with that after the authentication we have um the firebase database real-time database where we can see all the items users how many users we have so that will be on the users and what kind of item do the users have that will be inside the um, user's email name that we have it so for the time being let's use the haven the one i created during my testing period so haven see item by category it goes by this like food it comes over here this is a barcode barcode and it stays over here so this one is basically a child and parent case so where the parent is in the upper case versus parent are more powerful than the children so say the ox scan one cart list or the item user will be the one parent after the user will be the name the name username will be the another after that will be item by category after that will be the category name and after that will be the barcode name and finally the item description so these are the things that we have it in database and if you want to look into the rules for this database is open for everybody say read and write is true i don't have any backup users there are no users right now so and storage for the storage i have i have only one picture i think that's the things that's the home screen i have it into the database um but whenever you try to face something from the database make sure you have the real-time database and one second sorry something wrong real-time database okay so over here just think this users and after the user details so if you want to have the image over here so will be image and over here will be the value the value will be the firebase storage location that will be over here so let me show you okay see i got to playing invitation for game not right now so this one the store location that that one will be the image so address then you will be able to look into it and get the picture so if you only click the picture you will see the firebase database uh, url but this is not the what we can use it okay and after that the main topic of our question is like how we gonna connect with the different database how like you want to connect with your database so from my box perspective there's two ways so one will be during the connection so you go to add a project you give your project a name right after you give your project a name select the account default firebase that's correct it's going to create your project let's give it a second nice the project is ready see my project is ready now what we're gonna do is like got at the Android app this is the package name of our application so everybody knows the package name so app dot app that can be anything it doesn't matter that's on your package name put it over here after that you're gonna get the download config file will which will be the JSON file download this JSON file right you'll get it in the your download folder go to the github open the repository over here inside the app you're gonna see the google dash service session that is same as the one i just downloaded replace it if you replace it then what will happen is that um inside the google service session there is a url firebase url path and the project name everything with the package name so basically you will be connecting 
with your own Firebase database with this application. But make sure don't run it. Change it before you run it. Okay, download it. Once you downloaded it, change it. Just replace everything from here to yours. And only after that, please run the project. Before you do it, then the Firebase, uh, what will happen is like is whenever you have the JSON file over there, you have some steps to follow over here. After you download it, you have to add this. These are already added in the Gradle view, so you don't have to do that. And that only remaining will be continue to console. Once you go to the console, then it will say checking the application, and then from after that you will be able to do able to connect to the Firebase database. And this was one of the ways. So for the another way will be see in the project over here we have lots of activity and i'm sure we have a lot of drawable files app source man resource see drawable file drawable anim animation and layout so there's a lot of layout and drawable files so what we can do another way is pull it pull the distributory or clone it just get it into your desktop open it and once you open it it will be the same like this in the folder and folder inside folder so go inside app source main chaba connect all this activity i mean sorry copy all this activity and then put it inside your um the directory where the, you have to put the activity and after that if everything is good just copy the resource like uh, from the offset folder and replace it inside yours if you haven't make a big change there won't be any issue but if you have make a changes like if you want then make sure you have your one um, folder inside too so that uh, include the, those drivers so if you don't want to do that just you can copy one by one of this page and paste it over there and not one not only that look into the manifest and please correct the manifest too if there's any problem or if you have to check anything and mainly there will be a error because of the drawable missing or the font missing or something like that so you have to be really careful on that one like it's not a at the same time it's not like you can go inside a project and look into it at one same time it takes a time so build it time by time don't um uh, try to take over a step if you try to take over a step and it, if you forget something to copy or if you something in to put it over there then we're gonna get the error so basically if you want to connect with your firebase database there's two choice one is changing the json file or copying the activity and all the drawable into your project so i'm sure you know how to connect to your project so there was my another video there should be once again okay inventory tomcat mm, connect android application with a firebase database if you use this video you will be able to connect a firebase database with your application and after that you can copy all the activity so that it can uh, um, communicate with your firebase database or you can change the json file and try it out so that will be useful so so that was the, all the comment that I have been getting for this uh, uh, inventory management application. So I know this was a long time ago and there's been a long air and there. So I'm sorry about that. But basically, if you want to just have your project to connect with uh, your one database or the difference project connect with your database and check how it works, like you want to debug it, then that's the one way change the json file or copy everything from there then only then you will be able to do it so i haven't got any other idea i don't have any other idea but if you have any other idea just let me know that will be really helpful and another thing once again okay for this console so for the ox scan what will i'll do is real time like this real time database i'll get i'll get the json file i'll export the json file and if it's possible i'll have it in the youtube if not um, i'll have it in the github you can look at it from there too okay so that's it thank you